Hey, it's Michelle, you're a CSC Biology Tutor. Welcome back to the Know the Differences series in which I go through important terms with you that you need to understand. In this video, I'll be looking at the circulatory system and I'll be paying special attention to the three blood vessels, the artery, the vein, and the capillary. Now, you need to be able to distinguish between these three blood vessels based on their structure and their functions. So let's begin to look at the, the first one, the artery. Now the artery is the blood vessel which has the thick muscular walls and the narrow lumen. So you can clearly see this in the diagram here. So the walls are thicker and the lumen is very small. So the lumen is that opening in which the blood is going to be flowing through. Now key points to remember about the artery. Arteries take blood away from the heart. So this includes the aorta and the pulmonary artery. So they always take blood away from the heart. Now, the blood carried is under high pressure. So that blood flowing through the artery is under high pressure and it's moving very quickly. So you can relate this feature to the structure. The thick muscular walls are gonna help withstand that high pressure and the narrow lumen is what actually helps to maintain that high pressure. So that high pressure blood flowing through, that allows the, the, the blood to flow quickly and the thick muscular walls are going to help withstand that high pressured blood. Now because of this high pressured blood, there's no need to have valves. Valves are only there to prevent backflow. Because the blood is moving quickly under high pressure, there's no need to have valves to prevent that backflow. It's very unlikely that the blood is going to flow backwards. So no valves are in arteries. And then I have here mentioned that the largest artery in the body is actually the aorta. And you find that on the left side of the heart and it carries oxygen rich blood to all areas of the body, all the different organs and tissues. All right, so those are the key points to remember about the artery. Let's move on to look at the vein. Now the vein is the blood vessel which has the thinner muscular walls and the larger lumen. So you can clearly see that in the diagram. And the key points to remember about the vein is that it's carrying blood towards the heart. You would normally have veins carrying blood towards the heart. So this would include the pulmonary vein on the left hand side and the vena cava, which is the largest vein on the right hand side of the heart. Now, the blood running through the vein, the blood flowing through the vein is going to be at much lower pressure than the arteries. So the blood is going to be moving slowly and under low pressure. And because of that low pressure flowing blood, the vein needs to have valves to prevent backflow. So it's more likely for the blood to flow backwards because it's flowing at such a low pressure and it's flowing so slowly. So that is why veins have valves as opposed to the arteries which do not. So those are the key points to remember about the vein. So it has the thinner muscular walls, a larger lumen, and valves are present. And the blood flowing through is under low pressure and they're moving very slowly. All right, let's look at the final blood vessel, the capillary. Now the capillary, this is the smallest of the bunch. The smallest blood vessel and it's made up of, the walls are made up of one cell only. So very, very thin walls and they have a very small lumen. So the key points to remember about the capillaries is that they usually would carry blood under low pressure and they're found around tissues where nutrients and waste are exchanged. So because they need to exchange nutrients at the tissues, the walls of the capillaries have to be very thin and that allows for easy diffusion of the materials. So the capillaries are the smallest of the three blood vessels, very, very small lumen, walls are very thin to allow for easy diffusion of nutrients and waste. All right, let's look at all three blood vessels as they're connected. So we have the artery and you can see it's highlighted in red, the capillary network in the middle and the vein highlighted in blue. So this color coded is just, is just showing you that the red represents oxygenated blood and the veins, which are blue, represents deoxygenated blood. So always remember that arteries generally carry blood rich in oxygen with the exception of the pulmonary artery and veins generally carry blood which is, which are de, which is deoxygenated except for the pulmonary vein. So if we look at this network here, this connection, 
So say this artery is the aorta. The aorta is found on the left side of the heart. The aorta carries oxygen-rich blood to all parts of the body. So you can see this artery branching now into arterioles and then finally to the capillaries where the tissues are. So at the capillary bed, that capillary network around the tissues, you're going to have the oxygen blood, the oxygenated blood flowing through the tissues. The oxygen is going to be offloaded at these tissues along with the nutrients. So by the time it reaches the venue leading to the vein, the blood is going to be lacking in oxygen and it's going to be rich in carbon dioxide and waste materials. So at this point, this deoxygenated blood goes through the vein, which will be the vena cava, and that vena cava takes deoxygenated blood to the right side of the heart, where it will then be pumped to the lungs to pick up oxygen again. So this is just showing you how the arteries, the capillaries, and the veins are connected. Alright, so you should know the differences between these three blood vessels now, the artery, the vein, and the capillary.